This is ATT Grid News. I am Jessica Kiko. I am Zach Hager. I am Catherine Llewellyn. Our top stories. Calus Galadon Park announces plans to downsize. Elisaria continent names become official thanks to Claire M. Virtual Secrets ends as of week 800. Hello and welcome to Season 6, Week 4 of a very voluminous episode of... In an open letter on the Callis Galadon Park website, Ty and Truck announced their plans to officially downsize the Callis Galadon Park this year. Part of this effort will be to reduce live events that will take place at the park and making sure they get feedback from friends and visitors on what areas to remove. Although they still plan on doing unique builds for various seasons, due to several reasons they can no longer maintain the park in its current state. ATG Production thanks both Ty and Truck for their efforts and are grateful of the wonderful location they've created. Although the changes are in the future, we support and appreciate your efforts in creating an amazing place for Second Life residents. Claire M., the unofficial Second Life cartographer, has produced a new map of Belisaria, naming all the various areas. The Lindens and Moles officially named continents, uh, for example, Belisaria and Gaeta, and regions, for example, Swordfish and Nanga. And private estate owners named their own regions, for example, New Nanga. But useful names to identify areas of Second Life usually come, in through Second Life spirit, from the community. Claire has kindly allowed the BBB to reproduce her map, as shown uh, right here. The website Virtual Secrets, the infamous gossip website, officially announced Get What You Need to Say Out Virtual Secrets Week 800 will be the last week. It's been a great 15 years. Although this announcement comes as a surprise to many, several residents are looking forward to this site's departure. The new Combat Committee user group will hold its first meeting on February 8th at 1 p.m. Second Life Time and will alternate with the Content Creation user group. The new group will address various initiatives to improve combat roleplay for rest. Submissive69 has created and is sharing a free ASL A to Z HUD in the marketplace for Second Life users. In an effort to create a more immersive experience and a more meaningful and intimate way to communicate, this unique gift is being offered for anyone to use, including those who care to learn to sign. Updates from the Second Life team include no specific updates to the Second Life viewer that was promoted January 8th of this year. Several release channel cohorts are still in process and advancing to be incorporated into a future release of the Second Life viewer, including Emoji RC viewer, GLTFPBR Maintenance 2 viewer, Maintenance WRC viewer, Maintenance XRC viewer, and Maintenance YRC viewer. Second Life also posted an update with regard to the end of JIRA, Part 2. The update included an announcement that the bug reporting process was moving to FeedbackSecondLife.com while providing an archive of JIRA issues on GitHub. JIRA is re restricting logins during this time and currently encourages users to use Second Life Feedback Portal for new bug reports or feature requests. Final shutdown of post-migration is set for February 15, 2024. Thank you for watching ATG Grid News. Enjoy the grid.